Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. So in this video, I quickly want to go over um, what it takes to actually book 600 meetings for over 20 agencies that we work with. And uh, uh, when we used to also run the appointment setting agency, now we're transitioning to more of a consultancy where we actually help people build their client acquisition systems. And uh, yeah, this is the stuff that we help them build, okay? Um, I know most of you guys, who will be watching this video commented on this post, right? We have over 100 people to comment. Um, but one thing that I can tell you guys is you don't need 600 meetings to add 10 grand in monthly recurring revenue, whether that be every six weeks, every month, you don't need to do it, okay? Our customers are adding 10 grand every four to five weeks, just from five to 10 meetings a month, okay? So all of this, is not like this 600 thing, like the 600 number, it's just for marketing purposes, okay? But to tell you the truth, my customers scale with five to 10 meetings a month, okay? And anyone who's ever trying to sell you guys like, oh, like, oh, I book 40 meetings a month, just know that they're a scammer, literally, okay? And because if you're booking 40 meetings, 50 meetings every single month, it means that you just don't have a good product because you shouldn't even be able to onboard more than 10 clients a month. So why do you need 50 meetings a month? Okay. I personally, right. I'm booking over like, let me show you. I'm booking over like uh, 80 meetings a month. Okay. But that's only because I have an audience and I have a product that, you know, we can, we can onboard a lot of customers, but for people who are running done for you businesses, you don't need you don't need more than 15 meetings a month to be honest okay so you know if you ever work with me my purpose will never be to build you like a whole model that just adds 50 meetings a month that's just stupid and it's just ridiculous okay for me personally i have a remote sales team so that means that i can handle the volume and i want to get more volume but for you guys you just need a good 5 to 10, 15 meetings every month of qualifying prospects, and you'll be killing it, okay? So uh, before I actually start, uh, how did I actually build this process, okay? So this is an actual two, three-step process, offer perfection, six-figure outbound prospecting campaign, as well as brand and audience growth, okay? Uh, everything that is in red is implemented by a virtual assistant that you pay $3 Canadian an hour, okay? and everything in yellow is implemented by our customers, okay? So uh, before I actually started there, because all this client acquisition like knowledge that I have, it all came from me running an appointment setting agency, okay? And when I was building the these processes, I had a few things that I had to keep in mind. One is I wanted to stay away from the hard and time consuming processes. Things like email outreach, personalized emails, finding business owners uh, pages on LinkedIn, all these little like tiny things that although they increase the actual like um, conversion rate at all step of the funnel, how many people respond, how many people get on calls, it actually, you when you're running a business, like I couldn't do that. I needed to figure out a process that I could do it at scale and efficiently. So what I did is, um, I had to figure out, well, a way that we could blanket the market, okay, but still be able to be personalized when prospects showed interest, okay? That's where the six-figure outbound prospecting uh, framework came in. And um, I needed a process that could be easily implemented by a virtual assistant who isn't an expert in, in my client's niches, okay? So I wanted to be able to onboard a VA this week and have them start by next week. So they didn't really rely on, they didn't need a lot. They didn't need a lot of training. Another thing is that I needed a way to productize my client's sales arguments and marketing arguments, okay? So that we could actually do it at scale and not need my clients to be, um, although we still do personalized videos, I didn't need them to actually always be making personalized videos, okay? So those are a few things. And uh, I was able to scale the appointment setting agency, although we've transitioned to a consultancy now, but I was able to scale it to 30 grand per month in over 90 days. And 
you know, you don't scale anything that fast if you're not selling a good proven process, okay? So that was the uh, where all this stuff came from, okay? And uh, this last step is something that is really recent, um, but we'll get to it uh, shortly, okay? So I think that's all I wanted to um, go over. So step one, what is step one? Step one is um, in order for you to be able to book a lot, a lot of meetings, you need to have a good market resonance, okay? So one thing that we help our customers do is we help them create situational offers, okay? We help them niche down after a specific situation of their niche. So what does that mean? Instead of saying, oh, you help e-commerce brands scale to six, seven figures, instead of saying, hey, you help real estate cost agent, like real estate agents add or get 10 listings every month or every eight weeks, how about you actually go and find real estate agents at a specific situation within their real estate journey? How about you go and find e-com brands within a specific situation, okay, within their e-commerce brand um, journey, okay? So an example, instead of going and say, hey, we help e-commerce brands scale to six, seven figures, what we get our customers to do is, well, dependent on their offers, we might get a client to say, hey, we only help brands that have scaled organically to 20 to 50 grand a month explode and explode and actually scale past six figures per month or multiple six figures per month, okay? Or if you're selling to real estate agents, you might say, hey, we're helping real estate agents in their first uh, four years of business scale to multiple six figures in revenue every year or multiple five figures every month, okay? So what this does is it actually makes you dominate your whole space because nobody else is competing with you because everybody's just lost thinking that, oh, I don't want to be so niche down, so narrow because it will remove opportunities from my plate. But that's the wrong way to think it, to, to, to think, okay? Because the more narrow you, narrow you are, the more market resonance you get, the more money you make eventually, okay? Because if you can, even uh, Peter Thiel, the guy who created um, the PayPal mafia, I think I've gone this over in my last piece of content, but what he does is he suggests startups or people who are you know, wanting to really win big to go after a small audience, okay? Because if you go after a specific market, you can actually dominate. And when you dominate, you get a lot of money, you get a lot of capital, and then you can go and compete with these bigger companies, okay? So that's step one, offer perfection, okay? And this is, by the way, everything that you hear is more of like a summarized process. We actually have uh, like, you know, 20, 50 action steps to um, create these kind of um, stuff, okay? So step two is implementing the six-figure album prospecting campaign, okay? So like I said, um, when I was doing the appointments for people, I needed to do something that others weren't doing. So if I was in an agency of 3,000 agencies and all of them, like all of them were doing email outreach, then I thought to myself, okay, I'm for sure, I for sure know that 95% of everyone in this group are struggling, so I'll definitely stay away from emails. And a lot of people don't think like that. It's like there is this invert, um, inversion thinking process where like in order to avoid failing, avoid doing what people who are failing are doing. It's pretty simple to succeed. A lot of people complicate it, right? A lot of people are having like have a, have a calendar that is empty, right? But it's like, well, it's because you're doing the same thing that people who have empty calendars do. So if you wanna actually have a filled calendar, right? Go ahead and do things that people who have a filled calendar do, okay? And it's pretty simple. So when I started um, this appointment setting agency or even customers that we consult now is we get them to pick on explore channels because we know that if not a lot of people are using these channels then that means that we're gonna be getting a lot of uh, higher response rates, a lot more conversions, okay? So every customers of ours, we got them to prospect on Instagram and Facebook, okay? Whether that be e-com, real estate, dentist, everything. I'll be showing you numbers after. 
but and then step two is we needed a way to blanket the market okay so we actually created message uh, messages that uh, could be sent at scale but not look spammy okay and then step three was we had three two ways two options for customers that we suggest is either go the evergreen approach or go the personalized approach okay for certain niches like real estate uh, dentist you can definitely go the evergreen workflow like you can follow the evergreen workflow but if your niche is like e-commerce where every brand has different average order value um, they have different customer journey right for someone to buy let's say like a wallet it doesn't take them six months to buy a wallet they can just go on google and buy the wallet okay but if someone is buying um maybe like a couch i need a couch in this condo they might take maybe uh maybe a new couch or they might take two months so the customer journey might be different so for these kind of prospects you need to go the personalized approach so uh, for customers who are going after local businesses, we always get them to create an evergreen video sales letter, okay? We have a really good framework for the video sales letters. And then every, like, 20 pros, like 20 percent of everyone who went and saw that video, right, they became interested in on getting on a call. <laughs> I'm in a crazy neighborhood. There are a lot of Porsches, so I'm not sure if you heard that noise, but it's a GT3 amazing uh, but um, you know 20% of everyone who saw that video sales letter actually ended up showing interest okay because like I said we get our customers to create irresistible offers okay and everyone who went on a sales call 20 to 30 percent closed on average okay so versus the personalized workflow this does miracles guys this does miracles and I'll show you what I mean by that um, we actually got we actually get bigger companies to actually give us their emails, especially people, if you're in e-com and you're seeing this video and you're still scraping people's emails, like something is wrong, okay? What we do is we actually get brands to send us their emails. We get them to micro commit, right? If you guys have read the book um, by Robert, I think it's Shildani, um, he says that a person who has made, who has done you a favor, will want to keep doing you a favor. So the reason why we get brands to give us their emails is because we want that micro commitment so that when it comes to the time to pitch them a call, they'll be already in motion. So they'll want to stay in motion, okay? But what we do is we actually give, get our clients to send a personalized videos. That means that there is also another reciprocity bias that get induced, right? reciprocity right i do you a favor you feel like you owe me something in return we also use that okay we take advantage of psychological stuff okay this is not just about volume and shit um so we actually got our customers to send value videos and uh once they made that personalized uh, video we actually launched them in what we call the quasi periodic email sequence and it's automated and your va gets to do this okay uh, or we teach our the vas to do this what quasi-periodic means something that drops like without a specific time frame okay and why did i create this such an email sequence is because i was reading about uh the word water torture that chinese used in the um, i don't know in which war but they used to torture like um like uh prisoners with just drops of water on their forehead okay but and that actually drove people crazy but the special thing is that the thing that drove them crazy was not the actual drop of water because you know i could drop water on my head all day long i will not go crazy but what drove them crazy was the fact that the water was dropping at different time frames right so it could drop uh maybe every two seconds then it would take 10 seconds to drop and then maybe it might take 30 seconds to drop and the unpredictability of the droplet is what drove the prisoners crazy so i was like well can we actually create something along this concept and maybe test it out and after implementing it wonders came from it okay so uh and then within this uh 10 emails it's an actual 10 email sequence by the way so it lasts over two months and um we actually get our customers to build sales assets okay because 
I cannot tell you how much money I've made just from people watching my YouTube videos and coming to me and saying, hey, man, I saw this video. Uh, and they reached out on me on Facebook or Instagram, and they're like, hey, I'm interested in this. Can we get on a call, right? Customers from the Philippines, from South Africa, like from countries that, you know, like I didn't even expect for to have people watching, okay? So what we do is we get customers not only to put these sales assets within the 10 email sequence, but we actually get them to redistribute it on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn, okay? And the funny thing is everyone who booked a call and ended up on a sales call, ended up closing at over 75%. 50 to 75 percent okay and like this like i said this is more of a summarized workflow but like this has done a lot of damage okay and uh let me show you an example right so thomas signed up uh on the 50k a month program like um, a month ago and uh he signed he got two meetings and he signed two clients right e-commerce he had never gotten on an international call before we actually started working together. I think he's in Denmark. He was always selling to people in uh, the Danish market, right? But once, like, how do you go from never having ever been on an international sales call to closing your first two sales calls internationally, right? With brands, that's pretty impressive, okay? And I think I've shared this uh, last uh, call that we got, that last piece of content that I made, but like um, Richard, he's in the UK, uh, First couple of Loom sent, first meetings booked, right? On Monday, Wednesday, another meeting booked. Uh, he's already making 25K, like we're only seven days in. And, um, and two hours later, another meeting, same sub niche, right? And then 30K weeks up next, right? And then boom, he now wants me to refer me customers, right? Garen signed up for... Um, our program and got his first customer and boom started booking meetings with brands uh, you scroll down here boom another appointment okay so like this workflow has done a lot of damage okay but this is not just within the e-commerce space okay we've worked with cu customers in all all niches right boundless social um he's selling to he was selling to private aviation guys you want to charter jets? Go to Michael. He connects you with his customers, okay? Um, boom, same approach, guys. First loom that he ever sent following our structure, appointment. Marcus, second appointment. A few looms later, book an appointment, right? Jet, Jetscape, right? Julian, uh, premium, boom. Booked an appointment, right? Like dentist space. These are guys are, who are selling websites to dentists. They didn't even need to send looms to these first two meetings, right? Boom, booked an appointment, right? A few looms later, booked an appointment, okay? Booked an appointment, booked an appointment, booked an appointment, right? We actually get doctors to send their emails, right? Dr. Jessica, um, Dr. Jutla, right? Everything. And a lot of people, like, you know, they say, oh, this doesn't work. This No, guys. You don't do it the way we do it, okay? Enoful signed up with us, booked and afford his first appointments, went uh, like two weeks without really getting that many meetings, and then booked three meetings back to back, okay? And he even, you know, made a post in uh, in the agency incubator, right? He signed his two customers in the same day, right? We're booking meetings for him, right? 2.2K plus 5% ROAS and 1200 right best days of 2021 so far right we got him to have his first best day so far right but i could go on and on and on right spear group they're making over uh almost close to 200k a month they're still using our wor workflow right we get brands to give us their emails okay a lot of brands okay we could scroll all day long if you want to right but like you guys will not see the actual no, number of meetings, but here is a better scenery, right? We got we got 668 brands to give us their emails and they just like you could even scraping these many brands, it would be hard, right? But we actually get them to give us their emails, right? And just book meetings consistently, 
okay? Um, what other? This is Vanya, VCM, she'll start getting brands too. Boom, send Looms book meetings, okay? Um, this is another customer, right? Who you know sends first Looms book an appointment, 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 right? So this is like, like we've done this so many times, guys, that it's just at this point, I don't even know why people don't do this, okay? Because I keep sharing it for free every single day, okay? So this is the six-figure album prospecting framework, okay? What we do is we help clients pick the best channels. We help um, we help you actually create the video sales letter, video sales letter, or the personalized uh, value videos. We actually give you the structure. We give you the quasi periodic email sequence. We get you to build sales assets, and then we actually get you to close 100% of all the calls you get on. Okay, and um, let me see. I think that uh, that's it. Now, when it comes to brand and audience growth, okay, I don't know why people aren't aware of this, but this is how you make six figures in a single month. Just this, okay? And how did I come up with this insight, right? It's not because I actually went through a course. I actually spent $8,000 on a course of a guy who was doing this, but I, I paid 8000 for something that I was already doing. Okay, so let me actually backtrack. I started an appointment setting agency in December, right? By February, I was already making more than 25 grand a month. How did I do that? One thing that I figured out is I have a network of agency owners, thousands, not even 500, thousands, okay? And that was the sole reason why I was able to scale so fast is because the people who could actually benefit from my offers were part of my network, okay? So, and it's actually the reason why I stopped the appointment setting agency because I was just tired of just booking meetings for people, right? Like I just showed you guys here. I was just tired because you can't add 20 grand in a single month in your monthly recurring revenue if you don't have an audience, okay? So what I did, it literally pushed me to becoming a growth consultant and actually help people do more than just build client acquisition systems. I wanted to help people build a brand for their agency and an audience. So um, I won't go too much over in depth, but the thing that I figured out is if I can get access, how did I get access to the group of agencies or the thousands of agency owners, right? Well, it's because I got access to, uh, to different groups. So I was like, well, is it possible to do the same thing? But in niches like e-commerce, dentists, real estate, loan officers, you pick a niche, we get it, okay? We find an audience. Uh, the old traditional way was you would do it for free. But what we actually figured out is we actually buying an audience is much more powerful than getting in for free. Because if you get in free groups, sorry for the noises, but if you get in free groups, you're just with other marketers who are just selling to other people. So you will actually not get good results. So what we did is we've built a framework on how to find and buy audiences of the niche you're in. And then once what we do after is we actually optimize your profiles, okay? And there are a few ways where you can actually drive traffic to your profile. You can either grow it manually by getting your VA to send 30 to 80 requests every single day, or we can actually do what we call Trojan horse questions. Okay, I will not go over that too much, but because the video will be too long. Or we could actually just solve people's problems, showcase your expertise in the comment section. Okay, and then you do this consistently for 60 days, you'll have a network of over 2,000 prospects. Okay, and then what you do is weekly content, nurture and engage with a new audience, right? Because most of you guys who are watching this video probably commented on this post. Like I said, we have 116 people to comment. So like, that's 116 people and you guys are watching this because I'm making this video for you guys essentially, but is it possible for you guys to do the same thing within the e-commerce niche, within the real estate niche, within any niche over like, except unless you're, even if you're selling to doctors, they have access to Facebook for sure. So. 
That's the strategy is can you actually build an audience on Facebook of people who can benefit from your offers? And that's how you add so much revenue, guys, that it just becomes ridiculous. Okay? So, like, this is, I'm, I'm, I don't know how I can do this, but, like, this is it, right? This is it. This is the key to everything. This is the key to unlocking, like, the, the heavens, like, literally, okay? And then uh, we actually get our, you to, to get our customers to launch, uh, do promo cycles, launch every two weeks. And then you create conversation during on Messenger. You gather information, find inefficiencies with the current process that your audience is using or that your prospect is using. And then you share an insight, new insight, and then you get them on a sales call. You can easily book 10 to 20 meetings per day. And then that's how you make 10 to 20 grand in, in a single day in revenue, okay? Ravi Abuvala made 50 grand in a single day just from one single post. I've made 10 grand in a single day, okay? So this is it. These three steps. Have an amazing offer. Implement this six-figure album prospecting campaign workflow. And then build and grow your audience, okay? I cannot just tell you how much this get, this shit is so powerful. Just this thing is probably worth six figures, okay? And uh, I won't make too much, but like, you know, I've built a whole... 50k a month program just around this okay if you guys would be interested in help, getting help on how to implement this and actually have me help you with your offers help me implement this get a virtual assistant to do the outreach for you and then show you the how to find and buy an audience of e-commerce store owners real estate people uh any niche that you're in really i don't care if they can't be found i'll find it and i'll help you buy it and if you buy it it's an actual expense so you actually don't pay less taxes at the end of the year. So I know people who are actually spending like hundreds, thousands of dollars every week on ads when they could literally spend a thousand to buy an audience to get over 3,000 warm leads. That's $3 a lead and not a lead that actually sees your ad or gives you an email and never follows up actual qualified leads that have purchased in order to get access to that audience to actually join their group so that means that the people the audiences that we buy is of people who have already committed to what they paid for so that means that if you get access to these people they're people who have already invested in their business so guess what they'll also pay you to get them to the next level so this is the insight guys uh i hope this was helpful okay uh, we have much more more in-depth workflows, right? Step by step, uh, the 50k a month program, the five-figure acquisition systems. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you want help, literally ramping up a client acquisition system just like this one, uh, I'd be happy to help you. Have a beautiful day, and um, yeah, if you ever need help, have a beautiful day. Bye bye.